Welcome back to the next section of traffic chaining. And this section is all about encryption. So how can we enable encryption inside traffic? In this specific lab, we're going to use HTTPS and we're going to enable it on our CATS application. So before we can continue, let's head over to our traffic training repo. And again, the re repo is github.com forward slash 56 K cloud forward slash traffic minus training. And the link is also in the notes down below. And we go to the training resources, one, two, three, four. The section four is the encryption section. Go ahead and click traffic DNS, HTTPS and TLS, and it takes us right to the lab. But before we begin, we need to make sure we have some prerequisites filled. So first thing we need to make sure is if you have a domain name for testing. Now it's not a requirement, but if you wanna use this lab, you really need a domain. Second, ensure that the DNS of your domain name is pointing to your test server, wherever it is. Wherever your Docker Swarm is running, make sure DNS is pointing to this Docker Swarm. And the next thing is ensure that whatever DNS provider you have is in this list right here. So let's look at this list. And this is the traffic providers list. And you can see all the different DNS providers available. Again, this link is down below, so you can see exactly if your providers are Cloudflare, uh, DigitalOcean. So we're gonna use DigitalOcean for this example because I've actually deployed a Docker server and I'm using DigitalOcean DNS. So I'll show you exactly how that works. But each DNS works slightly different. Some of them, for example, the DigitalOcean just requires a DigitalOcean authentication token whereas Cloudflare, for example, needs a little bit more API information. It works essentially the same, but just so, so you know, they, they all have a little bit different uh, configuration. Now, what we're gonna do in this section is we're gonna deploy traffic with Let's Encrypt using the HTTP challenge. If you remember back to the overview of this section, the HTTP challenge is basically creating a domain response to Let's Encrypt in a certain format. So then Let's Encrypt sees the response, approves the response, and then grants a certificate back. So we're gonna actually gonna take a look at this. And the repo is, if we head over to our command line, if you see traffic training, we're gonna go into 04 HTTPS TLS, and we're in that directory now. If we go LS minus AL, we can see all the files in this directory. Now you see Docker Compose DNS, HTTP TLS, and the corresponding traffic static configuration files, DNS, HTTP, TLS. Now we're gonna go through each one of these in separate labs. So this is the HTTP lab, and we're using the Let's Encrypt folder as a placeholder to store the certificates locally. And we'll cover that in a moment. But first, let's actually open up one of these traffic uh, HTTP YAML files. So we're actually gonna open this file. You can then scroll down to the bottom and you can notice Everything is basically the same, but we now have a challenge HTTP section. And the first thing in here is certificate, certificates resolvers, and their name in my resolver is my resolver. And ACME is actually the configuration for Let's Encrypt. And what it needs is an email. So we actually need to change this email and you need to use your email here. It can't be anything else, but it has to be quite unique. So Brian at 56k.cloud. And that's all we need for this. Now the next section, it says, how is HTTP challenge going to work? And actually we tell it to use the entry point web. So it's gonna use port 80 to actually challenge the certificate creation and authentication. So that's all we have to do here is update our email. Go ahead and save that. Now let's take a look at the Docker Compose file. Here's the Docker Compose HTTP YAML file. And go ahead and open that up and head down to the cat app service section. So this is at the bottom of the file already. And you can see the cat app rule host. We actually need to add our custom domain here. So whatever your domain is, I have a domain that I'm gonna use for testing and it is called web wrench, like so. So it's actually gonna use uh, the entry point web secure, my resolver, and it will start so let's give that a try, entry point web secure. Yep, so what's happening here is we are changing our, D our URL to web wrench. It's using the, the label cat app for the service, load bouncer port 80, or port 5000. The entry point is gonna be web secure because now we're using 443 for our service. So no longer web, 
but web secure. So it's important that we change this. And finally, we need to tell it what cert resolver to use. If you remember back to the traffic HTTP YAML file, we named our resolver my resolver. So there you go. We have all the configurations in place. Now we can actually docker stack deploy minus C docker compose HTTP dot YAML and we name it traffic. So, so now it's starting up. It takes a moment and we can actually check the logs quickly. So service logs and we want to look at traffic traffic. And it's important to look at these logs because it's actually telling you exactly what's happening within the challenge. So you can see the challenge is actually created here. The resolver, so it's testing certificates renew, resolver, my Acme. And let's look at it again. And there we go. So you can see starting provider, provider, my resolver, Acme. So it's actually uh, challenging this HTTP resolver. It's going back and forth until it actually gets approval. So we're going to head back to our browser and I'm actually going to open up web wrench HTTP. It doesn't work because I'm using HTTP. I have to use HTTPS and you see it doesn't rewrite the URL by default because that's a middleware. We'll actually catch cover that in the next section. So if I use HTTPS, there you go. So now our website is now secured with a certificate. If you look at the certificate, it's a Let's Encrypt certificate and it's issued by Let's Encrypt Authority and it expires 15 November 2020. Now this is all done automatically for us. So Let's Encrypt will handle the certificate rotation. You can see it's a valid certificate and it's actually working just fine for us. So we are happy with how this is working. And if we go back to our dashboard, web wrench port 8080, you should be able to see. Now here's my dashboard. You can see the services. I have my cat application and the TLS is enabled on our cat application. So we have been able to successfully complete this lab. And this is the HTTP lab. So if we again look at the Docker Compose, just to review what we did here, we just named the host. So we put our own URL in here, so our own domain. And again, we have to use the web secure entry point and tell it what resolver to use. And then automatically traffic handles everything else for us. But uh, additionally, we have to check the traffic.http static configuration where we actually added our own email address in here. And this actually lets encrypt emails you to tell you so, uh, it hasn't been able to successfully get new certificates or the certificate is expiring soon or if there's problems with your certificate. That's why we need this email in here to let Let's Encrypt know who's responsible for the certificate. And it basically validates the authority as well. So that's the HTTP section of the HTTPS lab. So we successfully enabled HTTPS on our CAT application. Join me in the next lab as we use TLS challenge for traffic.